Hi, this is Bruce Kaufman uh, with another in my series of videos on how I've improved worksheet fun workbook functionality on workbooks that were uh, not created by me. And today I want to show you an example of a formulas worksheet where I improve the, uh, the look and uh, the use as well. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the original workbook. Okay, this is the original workbook with the formulas, and a lot of nice things about it, actually. Uh, there's a nice heading for each section. The cells where the user inputs data are framed in blue. The calculated cells are in red, so it's very easy to tell. You have a nice sequence of flow, so you can tell how things are done and how they're calculated. Uh, you have information here about the blue cells and the red cells, which is repeated in every section. And you have this thing up here called the call navigator that lets you navigate to the different formulas on the worksheet. The problem with this is, this is part of a, another workbook, is that the information that is put into the blue cells is manually input by the user. But a lot of this information, such as this light fluid weight, or the amount of the underbalance are, are numbers that are either calculated elsewhere or input elsewhere. And so every time that you use this, and they're used in several places, fluid weight again, what you have to do is you have to make sure that you're putting in the same number, 10.48, 10.48 here, whereas it would be better if you could use name ranges. And you can see that they're not that in the formulas. The other issue that you had with this is, you have to scroll around to look at everything, and you really can't get a good overview of all the formulas in one place. So, let's take a look now at, at how I revised this to make it a little bit more functional. Okay, here's the revised version. A couple of uh, quick features on this. Uh, first of all, uh, the client could work in either metric or English units. Maybe if you've seen the other uh, video that I did on data input. Uh, you'll recognize this method where if they're working in metric, they click here. If they're working in English, they click here. And this is where they input it. These are the descriptions of the units of measure. Very easy. Just uses conditional formatting to achieve that. Every input cell has a named range or a formula that uses a named range, as you can see up here. All right. So basically, this information came from another worksheet, and it's going to be the same number every time that I use it. And when I use it in the formulas, I'll use that name range as well. Cells that are white are for input. Cells that are green are for where the user does not have to input data because the information comes from another sheet or it's calculated on that page. You'll notice that everything is all together, nicely categorized in general categories, and then individual subcategories as well. And you can see the whole calculation and everything at once. Then the other feature, I'm going to zoom just to show you this because this is a workbook that is sometimes used as a training tool. Every cell has a comment to explain what's going on. So for example here, if you didn't know what TVD was, this little note will tell you it's the total vertical depth and that in this cell the data is input by the user on the worksheet, this worksheet. You go down to the next one, the WT means weight, so we're looking at drilling fluid weight, and it tells you that this data gets input by the user on another worksheet. And you can see this equals the drilling fluid weight in English units, which comes from another worksheet. Where there's a formula, as we have indicated here, the formula is all up here in plain English, so somebody can see exactly what was done. Or if that's too confusing, they can just hover over and this tells them this is the total vertical depth that it's calculated on this page and it outlines exactly what the formula is. Okay? So that's the formulas and uh, cleaner layout, everything viewable at once, uh, use of conditional formatting depending on what kind of units of measure. Let's take one more look. This is the, uh, let's flip over to the original. Remember the original, I have to scroll down. No name ranges, so you might have inconsistency in data input. A, a useful but not very effective navigation tool. And now let's take a look at the final revised version. 
and there you go thank you for watching